Hey you guys, today I'm here to do Scandal Season 3, Episode 14. I have tried to review this three times, so they're hopefully a third time in charm. I'm not going to go through everything, because I'm tired. Anyway, um, let's start off with Jake. Jake, what happened? You was like my favorite. All of a sudden, you went from my favorite to the the most hated. I'm like, what? Like, how? How does this happen? What? Shonda Rhimes, what are you doing to us? My blood pressure be up from the moment this show starts to the moment this show go off. And I still be kind of shook up when it go off. I don't know. But, um, yeah, Jay shot James. We all was wondering last week who, who he was shot or whatever. So, now we know he shot James. He gonna leave David alive to cover it up. He like, motherfucker, you gonna either work for me or you can die. Your choice. So David is gonna work for him. Um, he don't give a fuck. He does just the attitude Jake has right now. He's the commander. He don't give a damn. This is what he gotta do. Fuck what everybody else talking about. Um, Olivia's trying to really be there for Cyrus. Cyrus is all distraught. But he like, I need to work because if I don't work, I'm going to go motherfucking crazy. Olivia sees that, so they may let him go back to work. Um, because he needs to go after Sally. He needs to make sure Sally don't get the office and all that kind of stuff. And he got to come up with a plan for Fitz to go at her. They end up coming up with a new plan, yada, 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 whatever. Um... Mom Pope is back. The bitch ain't playing. At least I like when she do come back. She come back with a bang. That bitch is crazy. Um, and her assistant girl, the one of Harrison banging, that bitch is just now finding out how crazy the bitch is. Because they were trying to find out, like, who's our next target. She like, we need to find some terrorists because that's how we're going to make our money. The girl was like, I thought you was a terrorist. She like, no, I don't make bombs. I make money. I'm like, hey, I'm with that. But the way you make money is kind of crazy. Um, they invite these dudes over there. I guess it wasn't the right dude, so she shot one of them to send a message to the right dude. I was like, yeah, the bitch is crazy. The girl was gonna go tell Hulk, but, uh, I mean, not Hulk, but she was gonna go tell Harrison. But when she saw that car in that garage, she was like, no, because that could be that crazy bitch, and I can die if I say anything, so let me keep my mouth closed. Harrison kind of basically knows something is going on, and he tried to run and tell Olivia. Um... Quinn and them kind of figured out, her and Olivia kind of figured out that David was in trouble because the reporter girl was missing. And they couldn't find her, so they figure um, David going to be in trouble. So Abby goes to him and basically get the truth out of him of what Jake did. And Jake is crazy because when they couldn't find that reporter girl and Olivia called him, he... She was like, well, I need your help. I need you to find out what's going on because we think James has been murdered. He like, I can't help you right now. She was like, okay, well, you can. They hung up, and this crazy motherfucker is burying a reporter, girl. So I'm sitting there like, yes, he's crazy. But anyway, um, Huck finds out that Quinn is stole the uh, Wasada files up in um, Olivia's safe. So, when they noticed that, and he go tell Olivia, they noticed that B613 knows every fucking thing. So, she goes to, um, Olivia goes to Jake's office and basically question him. And he basically like, yep, I did it. At least I didn't go get somebody else to do it. This is my job. I am the commander. I don't give a damn. Sometimes bad things happen to good people and all this kind of shit. Because he basically tried to justify him killing uh, James and killing the reporters or whatever. So, she was, he was like, don't say nothing or some shit. Don't get in it. And she was like, if I do, he was like, good things happen to bad people. Like I told you, or asked before. And I'm sitting there like, please, Jake, don't let this be your last season trying to, um, come at Olivia Pope. Do you know? Not only the gladiators will get your ass, but the gladiator fans will get your ass, and this will be your last season. Shonda Rhimes wouldn't be able to do nothing but write your ass out because wouldn't nobody want to see you no more. Just saying. Don't go after her. Don't do it. Don't do it. I, 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 Jake just really disturbed my spirit this episode. Shout out to Nate Bessa because me and her was going off 
when this um when scandal was on, we was going off on on Facebook because both of our blood pressures was high. I know by the end of this, she was drunk as shit off her wine. But yeah, um, the only thing that was my highlight of this is when when Huck went to Quinn's house and was gonna kill her. At least I thought he was gonna uh, kill her. All that put your panties over to the side like you want. I don't know. No, no. I didn't want. She was trying to pull her gun out. He go wrestle her up against the wall and shit. Next thing you know, they start kissing. That ain't what we want. That ain't what we wanted to see. I'm like, okay, you gonna bite her tongue off? What, what the fuck you gonna do? Because this is not in the plans, Huck. What are you doing? We are supposed to kill her. Then when she spit in his face, bitch, no. I don't condone me hitting on women, but that would have been the day that I would have just closed my eyes to that situation and let her beat that bitch up. Put her head through the wall. I, I, I just can't stand Quinn. If she dies, she would not be missed. I'm like this. Go kill Charlie so she can stop doing this shit. I don't know. But the, that bitch can go. I, mm, mm And Huck, if you gonna keep playing these games with this girl, your ass can go too. Because I'm just saying, I like you, Huck, but you need to kill this bitch. And, Jay, you need to stop making um threats with Olivia. Because did you forget that Huck was the same crazy motherfucker you are and he can't fight too? So please stop going after her. I don't know. This whole little episode that started my spirit like i said it wasn't a lot that happened but it was something that happened with this episode but i'm still not getting what i really really need out of scandal i don't know i'm still not getting what i need but it's giving us something that keep us interested keep us watching the shit where um at the end when cyrus was at that press conference that was so sad how he broke down and I like how they show through the whole episode the flashbacks of how him and James got together, how they met, how Cyrus was scared to come out, and then how he finally came out at the ball and they danced at the ball together. And I thought that was cute because even when he came to Fitz and he, I think Fitz knew and Fitz was just like, even though he didn't tell him who he was in love with, Fitz kind of knew and just was like, as long as you happy, that, that's all that mattered. So I thought that was cool and how they played that in there. All that political storyline about the gun laws and gun and all. I didn't care. I really didn't care. Um, I like how Olivia and her daddy had that conversation. But one thing I didn't agree with. When he was trying to tell Olivia about... Um, when he was trying to tell her about Jake and how Jake is the commander and how he's punishing himself and you can't punish him because he's punishing himself. I'm sitting there like, that ain't no excuse. I still don't like him. Then he was talking about, I killed 183. Well, I'm responsible for 183 deaths. I didn't kill that many people, but I'm responsible because I had to make those decisions. And now that's what Jake have to do. And... We have to play the hand of God and all this kind of shit. And I'm sitting there like, okay, stop trying to make her feel sorry for him. Then he was telling her how, um, I guess, because I think she was saying something about, is it all worth it and all this kind of shit. And he was like, everybody's worth saving, even the monsters. And I'm sitting there like, no, they're not. You motherfuckers kill with not even blinking or not even thinking about shit and he's talking about, i know all the people i killed they age who they got kids so you know you just taking away innocent people away from their family so it don't justify what y'all doing and god just don't take innocent people just to be doing some shit come on now don't play throw yo say yo saying you acting as god god don't do just evil shit i just didn't get that part but whatever uh, Millie slept with Andrew. We all saw that coming. Every time that he would throw her and them together, we all saw that coming. So, I really didn't give a damn. Um, like I said, everybody goes to Olivia. Huck goes to Olivia about Quinn. Abby goes to, um, Olivia about David and Jake. Harrison goes to her about his boo back in town. She goes to David and tells David, you have to arrest this dude. Um... Because we need to fuck going after him. We need to go after B613. And I'm sitting there like, are you trying to get David killed, Olivia? Or is this his last season and y'all not trying to tell us? I don't get it. But y'all know what's going to happen. Jake don't give a damn about killing people. So why would you put this scary motherfucker? You know he's scary as shit. 
Why would you put him up against B613? I don't know. I don't know. Only people that can go up against B613 is you, your daddy, and Huck, and maybe your mama. But nobody else is going to be able, is strong enough to go against, against B613. Not even fucking Fitz, I'm just saying. Fitz is only hard because of his title. But when you got the women in your, in your life running your ass, you can't too much have anybody scared. I'm just saying. Um, anyway, that was my review for Scandal Season 3, Episode 14. Because, like I said, it wasn't too much to this episode. Yeah, it really wasn't too much to this episode. The shit at the end where Jake sat with, uh... Where Jake sat with James as he was dying and told him he was going to sit with him until it was over and all this kind of shit so he wouldn't die alone. I'm sitting there like, I would rather die alone than with a motherfucker that shot me. Come on now. Like, that was stupid. And then tell him, your daughter is going to be taken care of. I want to just be like, bitch, get away from him. You sorry sack of shit. But anyway. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's all I have for tonight. Uh, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. Plus. Um, everything that I do is by the ghetto view, T-H-A, not T-H-E. Make sure you check out my girl, Ashley Miller, 1987, might be 801. Also, again, check out my girl, Nate Bessa. Um, but yeah, talk to us, we'll talk back. Alright, peace out, you guys.